What's up, folks? <laughs> Choking me out, too. <laughs> oh, come here, little baby T. I'm sick. She was sicker, but she's not so sick anymore. She's on the road to recovery. I think I'm headed down into the depths of the sickness. And uh, you know, I thought, a lot of times when I think of the image of being sick, maybe you guys think of this image of being, when you're sick, like you just lay there and you don't do anything with like a pack on your head and a thermometer sticking out of your mouth. And you can get that sick, and I think I might be getting that sick. Um, I did mention in the last video how I was sick, but it, I wasn't as sick then as I am now. And I was like, oh, I'll just take a break for a little bit, but don't get me wrong, when you're sick, rest is important, and I'm going to rest. I'm not going to go out there and, and run three miles this morning like like I do sometimes. I'm just going to I'm gonna take it easy, but when I get sick, I don't like to just lay here and be sick. I like to, I like to do stuff. I like to get things done, so I still will be uh, editing Triple B TV and doing all that other stuff. Also, I had this thought that I should like blow snot out of my nose right under the camera lens just to just to really accentuate and give you a full visual of what's happening and it's like no that's that's really gross that's really gross I shouldn't do that but then I thought again I was like actually I should do that but I'm not gonna do it right, right now I'm gonna do it at the very end of the video so you guys can not have to click off because you're completely grossed out by the human disgustingness that I am on camera today um also, the reason I decided to record anyway is because this is a vlog channel, not a, uh, I, I know our last like four or five videos have been pretty strong on the snake care subject, which is great, I, but I, I need to remind myself that this is a vlog channel, this is my public diary, and getting sick is part of life and part of what's happening here on this channel. So yes, snot rocket coming out my nose into the lens, I think that's going to happen. Bearing that I am still sick at the end of the day to be able to do such a thing for you guys. But I'll, I'll give you plenty of warning before that, because also, oh, T, you're still not all the way feeling 100% better yet, huh? Mushy. Hey, T. Hey, T. What do you know? She said, I know I'm sick. You better get the camera on my face, Daddy. Yeah, look, here's old prefect Cruiser. No, no. <laughs> Before before we blow a snot rocket all over the lens, which is completely disgusting, I agree. What kind of sick, sick person would do such a thing? A really sick person, that's who. We're going to feed some snakes. I'll also give you a warning for that for the soft people out there that can't handle a snake eating. I understand. It's it's Sometimes it can be violent. It can be terrifying. But I've been watching snakes eat since I was a little kid. and I used to bring my snakes to class for people to check out the snakes eating um, when I was like seven years old seven through the age of ten maybe I would bring my snake to elementary school and we all sit in science class science class and watch it eat um, so but for those of you that are soft about that type of stuff I'll, I'll give you a little warning before that's happening that'll be at the end of the video so it'll, end of the video will be some snake feeding and then after the snake feeding snot rocket into the lens Also, sorry about the voice. I didn't. I didn't know. This is the first time I've talked today. I didn't know it was gonna be this bad. <laughs> uh, you ate that tea? You got some. You doing the snot thing first? You're snotting out right now, aren't you? We all snotty. <laughs> what you got there? What you got there, silly girl? What you doing? You playing with Daddy's belt buckle? <laughs> what? Do you know? Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. One more thing before the family gets up. Um, we did just recently do a roaming reptile show for the man who created roaming reptiles, which wasn't Brandon who passed it on to me, but the first guy that started it back in the day. And we did a birthday party for his kid. Here's a couple pictures from the the show there it was really fun really good and really great to get positive feedback from uh the man who started the program in the first place so that was a pretty pretty nice moment there and i just want to share with you guys real quick before i hear some stirring down the hall so people are, are starting to stir we'll see how the rest of this family is doing in just a second it's a sicky day but first let's do what you do okay, come 31 here. come here my guy it's so, it's so bright out here it's too much 
Well, that's much better light than laying on the couch light. In the middle, because we're just laying on the couch right here. Horrible light. Yeah. Sitting next to the window. This is a little, a little clue for you guys that are liking to film and get good light. Laying on the couch light, not good. Just sit right in front of a window and it gets amazing. Yeah. Noah, how are you doing? Are you sick, bud? No. No? You're not sick? You mix, you, you miss the sickness? I just got a stuffy nose like always. Yeah, you do always have a stuffy nose. Nose picker. Hey, Noah. What? What do you know? I know. Boogers. <laughs> what about boogers? Oh. And I pick boogers out of my nose every day. Well, like almost every day. They're gross. They're icky. And that's all I know. Screamies, come here, my guy. Come here, look, come see me, my guy. I'm gonna make you feel better, my guy. Come, come give me a hug, my guy. Oh my gosh. This guy is sicky. Oh man, bud, you're gonna feel better. It's gonna be okay, bud. It's just gonna be a couple days of feeling bad, and then we're gonna feel real better soon, okay? All right? I'm gonna blow a big fat snot rocket right under the camera lens. It's gonna be hilarious. We can all laugh at it, and you'll feel better. <laughs> can you? You look beautiful. <laughs> Are you sick? Am I sick? Yeah. Mm, not really. I'm sick and tired. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look great. Okay. So I just finished editing one of the uh, Herpeton talks. It's Jay Summers, and I've had him on Triple B TV a couple times before, talking about um, just different species he keeps because he keeps lots of different rare species. He's bred lots of different rare species and a large variety of them. This talk is about caudates, salamanders, and newts. At the end of it, he brings up a very important topic. I'm not going to ruin it for you guys. Hear what it is. You'll have to go watch Triple B TV, which it was the episode that just aired for you guys watching this video a couple days ago. So if you haven't watched that, go check it out. A very interesting talk. It's, not one of the, it's one of the shorter of the Herpeton talks, so it's not too long to sit through if time is a factor for you. Um, by the way, these aren't prescription. They're, for, they're so that the blue light doesn't jack with my eyes. And that I doesn't, yeah. Anyway, you should go check that out. It's uh, very interesting what Jay has to say. And also, if you haven't attended Herpeton, if you missed the last one, which was the first one ever done, the second one is coming up this year. You should look into it. There's a link down in the description, herpeton.org. And uh, talking to people like Jay in person and the people that will be attending, uh, if you're interested in these type of things, it's the, the benefit is... The value is, uh, you can't monetize the value to get to have a conversation with somebody like Jay. So, yeah. All right. And then some chicken noodle soup, and I'm gonna kick this sick right in the dick. Mm. Oh, I'm glad he's getting some rest. As a parent, you always wanna be able to like take away your kid's sickness and make them feel better. And now I'm just kinda joining them in Misery Loves Company, like, like Leah, my little girl, when she was like yesterday, she had like a really high fever, and I was just like, not feeling good and she's not feeling good and I just like what are you looking at? You. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? Because you're a poo bed. <laughs> People stare at poo beds. <laughs> anyway, I, she just I felt so bad and I just cried a little bit and I was like oh man, I wish I could make her feel better but I don't know where I'm going with this. I should stop.
because you're sick doesn't mean you don't get to be an adult anymore or something like that. You've been watching Triple B TV. Y'all take care. Okay, so I just finished recording. If you re recognize the setup, you think you're watching Triple B TV right now. I just finished recording my intro and outro for this past week's episode of Triple B TV. What I'd like you guys to do, a little experiment, granted you already have the information, is go back and see if you can tell that I'm sick right now. Because I, I try my hardest to be as professional as possible on Triple B TV, so I'd like... On the vlog, I'm, I'm just giving into the sickness. I'm letting it take me on, on Triple B TV here. I tried to stay as professional as possible and not like come off like I was sick as hell, which I am. But uh, just go, go check it out. Click on the card right here or go to the link in the description. It was good talk, but also by Jay Summers. And uh, yeah, well, let's see if you can tell. Can you tell? I'm having problems. We're gonna come back down here and feed the uh, snakes in just a moment. I wanted to go upstairs and talk to Hillary a little bit. She got back from the dentist with Mushi and see, uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> see what she thinks about my totally disgusting idea that I've got planned out. <laughs> She's kind of my moral compass on these videos. I have kind of stopped asking her her opinion on what I'm putting out, but this time I just want to see her opinion. Not that I'm gonna listen to it. I just, I just like to see her opinion. Let's go. So I've got this idea. I just wanted to run it by you, just to get your opinion on it. <laughs> uh, look at the look on your face. You're so pretty, mommy. Uh, okay. <laughs> you, no, you don't feel it. Not feeling it. Just feel really tired. Shoo shoo! Making too much noise. What? What's your idea? I'm gonna blow a snot rocket down at the lens with my sickness. Just <laughs> slow motion. <laughs> no, just like real, real type motion. Mm. No. <laughs> I'm still doing. I'm doing it anyway. Gonna destroy your camera. No, no, I've got a great idea for not destroying the camera. What? I can't, I can tell. That's secret. That part's secret. The, just the part that's not secret is that I'm blowing a huge snot rocket. You do you, honey. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I got a loving, supporting wife who just loves me for who I am. <laughs> Snot rockets and all. All right, let's go feed some snakes. Before we go back in there and feed the snakes, remember I told you I'd give you guys a warning about the soft folks that didn't want to see it. When I'm saying soft, I, I'm not, I don't mean that in a derogatory way. I'm not trying to talk down at you for being soft. I believe that this world needs soft people and that they're very important. Hillary is somebody I consider to be a fairly soft person, and we need... A balance of, of hard and soft people in this world to make it to make it the successful place it is. I, I'm I'm not being a smart ass here. That's what I'm. I mean that. I mean that. So I just wanted to give you guys a warning if you didn't want to see the snakes feeding because sometimes some people are more squeamish than others. And I try to incorporate everybody in this channel: the sick people, the healthy people, the soft people, the hard people, because I'm a fairly open individual and I'm open to ideas that are sometimes go against each other. And I'm just that's just how it is. That's just how it is, man. So here's your warning. We're gonna go and feed the snakes. Let's see if we can feed 30 snakes in 30 seconds. We'll put a timer down on the clock, see if we can make it happen. You ready? Let's go. part I told you is gonna happen at the end of the video I'm gonna blow a snot rocket out my nose because I'm sick not just physically like in the head I'm sick and uh, this is plenty of warning if you guys turn the video off now if you really didn't want to see this for those of you guys that are still watching <laughs> you guys are sick too so I'm telling you turn it off right now if you don't want to see this it's gonna be disgusting I have no doubt so you're still watching man you're sick you're just as sick as me. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. You're still here. You just can't stop watching, could you? You just had to watch it happen. You had to. You had to see it. You're disgusting. 
Uh, here we go. Oh, I guess. Oh, <laughs> you guys are disgusting. Leave a comment down below if you just unsubscribed. Come on, <laughs> it's all right. I'm not worried about it. We're we're here to make you guys laugh. Hopefully, I'm not worried about if you felt like you needed to leave. I would probably leave after that too if you're still here, man. You guys are hardcore. I guess. I mean, it's not that big a deal. But if you are still here, man, you guys are troopers. Troopers. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Breeding, incubating eggs, as well as raising the babies, feeding techniques. We're going to go over all of that. <laughs>